big business will be watching how these talks play out, since the issue has always been an important one to the economy. Elon Mui has that part of the story. As the battle over immigration heats up here in Washington, many workers are worried they'll be left out in the cold. Special protections for the undocumented children of illegal immigrants, who are known as dreamers, will expire in March. About 800,000 people will be affected. 91% of them are employed, including at some of the biggest companies in America. Daniela Vieira came to the United States as an undocumented immigrant from Brazil when she was 11 years old. Since then, she's graduated from college and landed a job as a financial analyst at Johnson & Johnson. Her protected status allows her to work legally. Losing it could mean losing her livelihood as well. So she's sharing her story with lawmakers here in Washington and with her company's CEO. He told me that he was keeping my story in mind. Um, and I've tried to raise awareness of these issues at work because I'm confident that there must be other dreamers in my company, but it's very scary to come forward and, and disclose your status. Johnson & Johnson is part of a broad coalition of major corporations that are backing a path to citizenship for workers like Daniela. By one estimate, forcing all dreamers to leave the country would cost the U.S. economy nearly $500 billion a year. How can we help these people, you know, gain the right, their appropriate rights in the United States? How can we make sure that they can be drivers of the economy? That's what this is all about. Both Republicans and Democrats say they're determined to find a solution. But compromise remains elusive, and Daniela Vieira's American dream now comes with an expiration date. We're desperate. We don't, we don't want to lose our jobs. We don't want to lose our home, and we don't want to have to go back to some place that we've never known. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Ilan Mui in Washington.